Welcome pioneers. What we're working on today is some um, train lines. And as you can see, this train going past here, some really nice curves. And then it goes around further. When we look in the calculator here, you can see some really nice sweeping curves. I'm going to show you how to do that with the calculator. A combination of in-game and with the calculator. I'm going to show you how to do a section of it. I won't show you how I'm doing the whole lot. But this will give you an understanding of how you can manipulate the game to make it work for you. So what I've done here in my save game. I've come here. I've put a foundation here right under this point where I'm going to continue the next one from uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to run some foundations here they're probably going to be curved a little bit till we get past the train track and then once we're past the train track I can do a ramp upwards and we can do the, the continue to run that train line around where I want to take it we're going to show you how to do that with the calculator. The important thing I've done here is by putting this foundation here, then we'll save our game and we'll load it into the calculator and continue from there. Here we are, we've loaded the save into the calculator. Here's this foundation here. This is where we are going to bring this up this way. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is I want to just move these out. I want to get a foundation to about here with a bit of turning going on. I might just move the map over here. Sometimes when you do this, it's best to have the map like on the left of the screen, not so much on the center. You can also, uh, while you're doing some of these manipulations, you can come and just turn off the railway roads or the trains in the calculator here or not the trains but the tracks and the tracks they're still there they're just not in your way and I also have some pillars underneath here which are getting selected and they are a little bit annoying so I can turn them off as well now when I hover on this foundation it's exactly what I want I've just changed my browser zoom so you can see the uh, foundations and the icons on the screen a bit clearer. Uh, the, right now the foundation is pointing not in the direction that I want to go. So I right click uh, on the foundation and I rotate it. Now it's pointing this way. I want to do a row. And this is a bit of trial and error what we're going to do now. This is part of this experience is exactly that. Trying to work it out a little bit then going on to the next bit and so on. So we spawn a road here. I want it to be a width of one. The direction is not mattering. It doesn't matter at this point in time. Uh, mattering isn't a word I'm told. The length I'm going to make it six and the curve now to cur a positive curve would be in the right would be to the right. It's just like a clock. So if I went a 10 degree curve, you can see not a lot happened then. If I close the full screen and bring up the rails again, it takes a sec the tracks. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted that to there. Let's load this into the game now because I need to put a ramp next and then that ramp will let me get up to here. So we'll do this. We'll, uh, you use the feature to download the save. You've seen this in a lot of the other tutorials so I won't go through all that. One of the things you'll find with using these techniques with the calculator as your saves get larger, it does take a longer time to load into the calculator, make the changes, save it to your computer, reload it back into the game. That's the downside to this. 
uh, and that's where mods really come into play there the, the in-game mods are great for that sort of stuff you can make these changes on the fly this is just me showing you a different way of doing it using the uh, calculator and you can see here this is exactly what i wanted it's probably going to curve another five degrees I'm going to, at this point, I'm just going to put a one meter double ramp here. And from this spot here, what I could do actually to keep with the curve is I could put the one meter. Let me explain what I want to do here. If I want to keep, see how this is, you can see the join there. You can see the pivot on the corner here curving if i want to keep that in that position for the next ramp what i can do to start off with is make a copy of the ramp to, of the foundation to the left so i've got a copy of it if i make a mistake and I, if i delete something it makes it easier to undo that mistake i just want one of these double ramps here and i was going to place it here like this and if I delete that one and bring this in, we copy the double ramp. You can see the double ramp now has that same profile curve. And we can get rid of that and that. So I had to come into the game again to do this. So I had this ramp. So then I could continue this process up to here and through. We're going to... Now, I need to be careful because I think the calculator, not the calculator, but on the map, I could be looking at that there, but I want to go here. So we'll just keep that in mind. I think we're on, on, oh, no, it's this arc here that I think I was confused that I might hit. I think we're in the right direction. So we'll save this and continue with it. Here we are again. I've reloaded that updated save into the calculator. You can see that I have this ramp foundation here, the double ramp. And I want to run that up to here. I'm thinking that 10 degrees might get us there. If you're unsure about the distance, how many foundations, use the ruler. That'll give you a general idea. So we cl click here. That's 60 foundations up to there so we'll, we'll just go with 65 and we'll see how that goes so we right click and with the ramps the direction that the ramp is facing is always up and the opposite direction the down part of the direction is down i know that might seem obvious but when you're creating the roads, that's the distinction between an up and a down in the roads. I'm going to right click and the, on the ramp and select spawn around. We'll select road. One is our width. 65 is what I said the length would be. The direction is up and we're going to stick with that 10 degrees curve. Let's see how that looks now. You can see that it's not enough where we, we want to be over here. So we can easily undo that. And this is just part of the trial and error of the calculator. That is not bad. That's kind of what I want. I would probably even say that I may not go all the way into the curve once we're up there. We may at some point like here just continue straight i'm not sure i do know that i want it to kind of grab the edge of the rocks as we go around but we need to get into the game and have a look at this point here we are this is the curve we're going for and this is part of the process is finding out is this what we wanted it, going under this arch is probably not what I wanted because it's going to stop in the middle of a rock. 
so I am going to need to change to the two meter foundations. This is part of the process here in the uh, with doing these in the calculator, understanding how all this works. As you can see here, this is not the road we need. This is the revised four meter double ramp. And you can see it's taken us much higher. And it's probably exactly the height that I wanted. We'll see. We'll come up here and check. Obviously, we've gone higher than that arch that was there that was a, causing us a block of to do nothing. And it's uh, like it's in the right incline. It's where I want to go. But I'm probably going to have to cut that angle down. Here we are again. I've changed the angle to 25 degrees. It is looking promising. And you can see we're not going in there. We were in these trees before. We're not cutting into this rock. Obviously now I'm not at the best spot. However, this is where I could curve. This is, this is where your next decision is. And I'm not going to take you through these steps because it's the same steps over and over again. But I'll come back and find a spot and I'm going to probably cut through here. So I will come back to about here and we will put a flat foundation down and, and then do it again, curve around and go forward from there. But that's just, an, you're able to see how using the calculator to do roads with ramps and curves, you can get some really great train tracks. And I haven't shown you here, but yes, you would need to run the train track as well and put some supports down and all that stuff. So that's this is all part of your journey in creating these types of uh, wonderful layouts. But I hope you uh, find that enjoyable.